Ушли и морда. the UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31 with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, to get us started Ladies now, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Fighting out of Goldendale, Washington, USA, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so 
sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. The right hand just misses. Let your hands up. Let hands up. Nice leg kick. Yet again, they will clinch here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Just unable to quite find that range. Big head kick land. All collar tie. Oh, nice. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hook to the hand block. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by him. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Knee to the body. Oh, man, how is he standing after? He has absorbed so many of that. Is how you scramble, folks. So there it is. Longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. DC, I know you can't necessarily win. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick lands. He engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block. One take down is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You've got to be careful. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Here we are, early round two. Oh, right then and left. Strong defense there to block the shot. Ooh, head 
kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he comes through with a big knee. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And there comes the separation now. Single collar tie now. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch DC. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Massive, massive wood lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. And the left kick there with conviction. Yeah, I've heard him a little bit. Look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice punch by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. <laughs> He blocks the punch. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Left hand punch from the clinch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and... That's as good a punch as he's thrown on it. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Nice strike. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find his own. That'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite through starting to form on that right side. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Lee. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Lands the ground and pound strike here. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, I'm 
not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Tonight, he continues to connect. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big punch land. Ooh. And now he lands a combination. Right hand upstairs. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And they separate. <gasps> Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. <laughs> He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Check that kick as well. Oh! That's a single collar tie. And they say. Oh. oh! Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking armbar. Picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him on that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, big punch land. Tonight, he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time.